hi guys welcome to e-learning info my name is rajesh i have a short message for all if you're not subscribed my channel so search on youtube e-learning info it and click to subscribe button and click to bell icon and when i upload the latest video so get notification directly your mailbox and this is completely free guys so please subscribe now hi guys today i'm gonna show you how to implement mcafee move multi-platform so guys as you know about the McAfee move multi-platform so I have some document about that okay the McAfee management for optimize the virtual environment antivirus okay so basically McAfee move multi-platform manage your input uh, your virtual machine if you have virtual server okay EXXI Hyper-V and all that so you can use that okay i also show you the all requirement and what uh, platform is supported or not supported what client pack uh, client machine is supported or not so first you should know about what is the move so see i share the all document with my video description so you can track down and download these documents also so see there is uh, mention is the McAfee manage McAfee management for optimized virtual environment antivirus. Okay, and is a antivirus solution for virtual environment. It is remove the need to install a antivirus application every virtual machine. Okay, and VMware provides the protection and performance need for the optimization requirements okay so basically guys the virtual environment two type protection is available on mcafee okay first agentless second is multi-platform means agent base okay so first today's this topic the mcafee move multi-platform agent base okay so guys the multi-platform is agent base required around agent 5.0 okay and lot of advantage and disadvantage the multi-platform major disadvantage is uh, i think i show you the architecture architecture then will you understand better about that so guys this is architecture okay mcafee move multi-platform so basically if you have one hyper v server okay and Hyper-V server and 200 virtual guest machine is hosted Hyper-V so you should create a McAfee move multi-platform offload scan server okay so one offload scan server manage your all 200 machine okay and the 200 machine have must install the agent and move client package okay move client also install the each client machine okay so all client machine communicate with your offload scan server and offload scan server also integrate with tie and epo via dxl okay and also the virus scan protection and this is only for uh, uh, guest machine configuration i telling you the offload scan server is different offload scan server is required the mcafee agent viruses and data exchange layer virus scan data exchange layer and tie model that's it and epo agent also okay so epo agent data exchange layer tie module and virus scan enterprise okay so uh, the off all 200 machine communicate with offload scan server and offload scan server integrate with tie and also integrate with okay and uh, providing the best protection for virtual environment because there is no any utilization related issues okay in your each guest machine okay sometimes if you install any antivirus uh, like McAfee move uh, McAfee endpoint protection and McAfee virus scan 
so every time some uh, sometime we are facing the issue max shield is taking high utilization up to 90 percent 80 percent that's this server will down and some performance issue but that case never and second thing is there is two type of protection is available first is signature base second is signature less signature less means the it is in also integrated with tie okay and signature base is vac viruses can also install at this machine so two type protection is okay this is made a major advantage okay and disadvantage in that case the offload scan server is down okay so all 200 machine will unprotected with unprotected complete unprotected because there have no any uh, database no any signature offload uh, offload uh, sorry offline and online so that case is very dangerous okay but if you uh, deploy each uh, 200 to 400 system managing by one offload scan server if uh, at least two offload scan server is required primary and secondary and you can also manage that is via svm manager svm manager is diff if you have svm manager so you can define which ip segment is scanned by which offload scan server okay basically this is manage your offload scan server svm manager security virtual machine okay so uh, if you implement also the svm manager on your environment and you have two offload scan server so you can also assign the primary and secondary once a primary server is down to automatically cl all client communicate with the secondary server this is advantage and the major disadvantage is that if offload scan server is down so all vm unprotected but if you also manage by svm and uh, two offload scan server is 200 and 400 c this also assign the a mcafee move antivirus svm can generally be assigned it to 200 to 400 in point depending okay so 200 to 400 system if you are managed that so you should deploy that two offload scan server okay and let's guys let's uh, let's see the second is what is the requirement okay so i have some document about that see the there is requirement for see hardware requirement server requirement okay and also if you also deploy your environment svm manager so svm manager deploy on linux platform so must have ubuntu 6.4 as mentioned here okay and also the your virtual environment supported so there is also mention the vmware sxi 5.5 or later and settings then server 6.0 and microsoft hyper v okay and see there is also mention the hardware requirement okay and client system requirement vista server 2007 server 2008 r2 windows 8 and server 2012 and lot of operating system is there guys make sure the multi platform is not support to linux operating system okay and guys there is also mention the good topic the what is the requirement of agentless and multi platform so basically i am not discussing about the agentless agentless is different work on different technologies and multi platform working on different technologies okay so guys this is information about that i hope you understand how to work it okay so if any query about that so you can give me on comments on my videos so i will help you about 
and any documentary related and guys it's most important major advantage of agentless uh, multi-platform is better than agentless because this feature is not in multi-platform okay uh, sorry this feature is not available on agentless no only available agent base okay that case is multi-platform is better because multi-platform providing you zero day production okay if integrate with tie and atd so it complete protections so that case is and guys see new feature is available on previous version to new version okay so guys i i will share this documents link on video description so you can download it and read the full document for information next video i show you the how to check in and how, what package is required which operate uh, which what package is required for server and what package required for a uh, client machine so guys thanks for watching if you like my video subscribe my channel thanks for watching guys